Hey guys, I'm Rajni, fashion director at Teen Vogue. And I'm Ben, denim expert. And today Ben is going to show us exactly what's behind the price tag of jeans. Ben is going to compare two pairs of jeans, and then I'll use his insights to guess the price of a mystery pair. All right, let's look at these up here on the rack. The first thing that stands out to me on this jean is that it is selvage. And you can see the little detail here uh, and also at the bottom. Denim is made on a wide loom. It's about 60 inches. Selvage is actually made on a narrow loom. It's about 30 inches. So this actually takes double the amount of denim to make a jean. It's much narrower fabric. Mm -hmm. It's much more expensive. So if we look at the other jean, it is not selvage. And so this is actually, they have to take a serge and serge the sides versus that one is finished by itself, gotcha. selfish. The second thing would be rigidity. So if you look at this and you can feel it, it has no stretch. It really it's... holds your body in. Yeah. It's really durable. Denim originally was always 100% cotton, like this one, and this probably has you know, 4% elastane in it, so it will uh, it'll stretch more. Because of the stretch, you can yeah. see it's wavy. The sewing isn't as nice. It's a little bit harder to uh, control. Does it lose its shape easier than something like this? Yeah, that, that will not lose its shape. This, it'll lose its shape as you wear it, but if you wash it and then it'll dry it again, it'll shrink back up. Um, the next thing I look at is the actual weight of the fabric. So fabric ranges, at least denim, ranges in ounce weight. Eight is sort of chambray all the way up to it goes up into the 20s. This feels like it's in the 12 to 13 ounce range. You feel this, it's probably in the 10 ounce range. The heavier the denim, usually the, the more stable it will be and it will last longer. So looking at these two jeans, this one is actually raw, meaning that it's never hit water. It's never been washed and it will shrink once you do. This actually has been, been washed, it's been rinsed only, so it still stays nice and dark. If you look uh, around the seams, you'll see a little high-low, basically, where the indigo is actually chipped oh, off. Oh, I see that. Yeah, so that's a representation that it's been washed and dried. For a pair of jeans that's raw denim, I know there's like the wives' tale of, you know, you can't really wash it, you have to throw it in the freezer. Denim expert, like what are the truths behind raw denim? Sure. Like, how can you wash them? This jean, you shouldn't wash. You should wear it in as long as you can um, so that it breaks into your body. The true denim purists actually uh, don't wash it and they put it in the freezer. So it, it is, is a, true. It is a wives' tale. I hear it doesn't do anything. If you actually get to the washing point, then you would just wash it inside out on cold and mm -hmm. hang dry it. Don't put it in the dryer. For all of those reasons, I'm going to bet that this is a more expensive jean. Here it goes. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> $165. All right, let's take a look at the other one. I'm gonna guess this one is a little bit more affordable. Mm -hmm. Let's take a look. Yes, it is, $80. All right, it's not a bad price. Half the price about, this is kind of like your high-end experience. Your purest jeans. Yeah. Yes. With all that in mind, let's talk about your jeans. What have you learned? Okay, I feel like I've learned a lot. The first thing that comes to mind is, ta-da! Selvage. Selvage, just like that jean. Also, there's no elasticity. I don't have any give in it, so I'm gonna go with raw, no elasticity. From there, I would say the next thing is it's heavy. I feel every step I'm taking. So again, I'm going to 165 zone as opposed to the 80 zone. Looks like it. And then last but not least, just like the wash, there is no gradient of color at the it very end. Yeah. It looks raw. It looks raw. For all those reasons, I'm going to go more towards the luxury high end side. What do you think? How you I'm feel? I'm with you. I think so. All right. Dun, dun, dun. The big reveal. The big reveal. Woo! Wow. 350. That is up there, yep. Yeah. So I think some of that comes from obviously selvage. Uh -huh. A lot of it is the style detail also. And the cuffs. The cuff is reversed. That's probably Japanese denim. Mm -hmm. No wash, so it's rigid. Uh, nice heavy weight. 350 is a lot, but at the same time, I'm all for the price tag for something that is this luxe. I mean, I have both. The expensive selvage rigid jeans, and then I've got the, uh, the casual ones that I wear on the weekend. So the first thing that I look at with a boyfriend jean is the overall construction. A really good way to tell if something is better quality is if you look at actually the stitch detailing. So mm -hmm. if you really look close here, there's a lot of start, stop. Oh yeah, I see that. It's kind of like bunching over each yeah. other. Yeah, the threads haven't been trimmed, you know, under the belt loops, there's loose threads everywhere. 
So you can kind of tell the quality isn't the best on this one. So it's not as polished. It's not as polished. And if you move over to this one, despite all of the destruction, you still see that the quality of stitching is really nice. The construction is there. You know, all the little details, all the trimming. You know, it really looks like a great finished jean. The next thing that I look at that is an easy one for you to look at at the store mm -hmm. is stitches per inch, or SPI is what we call it. The easy way is to bring a ruler with you, <laughs> and you can actually count the stitches per inch. The more stitches per inch, the higher quality, basically. It will last longer, mm -hmm. it takes longer to sew. Because it's tighter. It's tighter. This has eight stitches per inch versus this. If you look over here, it's less. It's definitely bigger. It's, it's wider. So yeah. this was quicker. They ran it through the sewing machine a lot faster. The next thing that I would look at is the overall process or wash of the jean, and that makes up a lot of a boyfriend. Just immediately, this one to me looks more luxe because there's more process to it. An old boyfriend would be worn out, yeah. holes in the knees. This was bleached down to look lighter. It has this irregular marbling here, like it was left in the sun. Gotcha. Obviously all of the big holes and even the cutout fly here. And if you go over to this one, it looks a lot flatter. Yeah. That's usually a red flag. It doesn't have as many whiskers. Wait. What are whiskers? So whiskers are actually these lines here that are drawn on usually with sandpaper and they actually originate from the way you would wear it. So, oh, like, so like the creases, the creases. Es essentially yeah. like when you sit down mm -hmm. and you buckle up. That's where it comes from. If you look at this one, it has levels and they do some of that with actually sanding by hand. Mm -hmm. This one was probably done with lasers. They can now sand with laser beams, put a pattern into the computer, it burns off the top layer. And this one, all of them will be the same. This one, everyone will be slightly different because it's a different person working on it. Okay, and the last thing that I would look at is the finer details, the subtle things that make this jean great. This jean has a little F here at the bottom. You would never notice. Some of the interesting things are the rivets here. This one's a little bit smaller. This one's a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. This has a little bit of stretch in it which the original ones wouldn't have. Button fly versus zip fly. In a boyfriend jean, button fly is gonna, gonna denote more quality. Zippers are actually less expensive than buttons. Okay, with all that in mind, I'm gonna guess that this is the lower price jean. Big reveal. Let's take a look. Yes, it is. Oh. Makes sense. Okay. And then over here, I'm assuming that this is the more luxe, more premium jean. Let's give it a look. And it is. Wow, 275 yep. versus $80. So you're really paying for all of the details, all of the little subtleties, uh, the wash. So let's look at yours. What do you think? I mean, the overall construction, I. To be honest with you, I can't necessarily tell. I, it seems okay. But the one thing I did see is like the stitches per inch. Mm -hmm. Seems like they're wider. Makes me think it's probably more on the $80 side than the $275 side. Okay. Um, then I was just looking at the wash. This mm -hmm. seems very laser. Yeah. It's a little bit flatter. They're not as defined. Mm -hmm. And then the one thing that I was like, ding, 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 was it wasn't buttons. It was a zip. Yep. Giveaway. So that for me was like, oh, I'm definitely more towards 80 than the 275. And then the last thing, there are no special details or embellishments. None of them, no. So again, affordable, not luxe. That's my guess, mm -hmm. but we'll find out. Alrighty then. Whoa! 40. Look at that. I knew that this was definitely more of an affordable jean. Mm -hmm. Again, from the beginning, I didn't feel like it was a true boyfriend. Sure. You know, even though yep. it was supposed to be a boyfriend, it just didn't have those elements. Good job. So this two-tone style is back in a big way. I just want to know why they're back. This is the reason why. This is an original Vetmont jean that actually came out a couple of years ago. It's an incredibly expensive jean, mainly because it's made of multiple pairs of Levi's sewn together, actually three or more. So if you look in the back, you can see the old back pockets from the old jean and how exquisitely it was constructed. And also all of the pattern work that, that went into this to make it fit properly, the piecing of all of it together so the pockets match, the step hem, how different they are how the waistband was taken off and put back on. Just the overall construction of this jean is it's intricate. Is intricate. Yeah. Just really a, a true work of art. The other thing that makes this an expensive jean is the name. Vetmont being an incredibly popular brand, you're paying for the construction and the unique ideas, but for the design team and how they came up with the idea and exactly. how they actually figured out how to make it work. The next jean is basically 
inspired by that. This one looks to me like it was sewn two different fabrics, basically, a lighter one and a darker one. It gives you the idea. It still has the this, this seaming like this, but it's a little bit different. Again, on the back, you'll see it actually has traditional pockets. Also things like the little step hem doesn't exist here. It's still mm -hmm. a cut hem. The Vetmont jean comes from vintage jeans. You can feel it. The weight it's really heavier. is a serious jean. This one feels a little lighter, a little looser, a little bit drapier. Also here, you can see these whiskers are, are from somebody actually wearing them. Somebody actually made that crease themselves. Over here, you can see that it's a little bit more of a contrived version, probably done with laser. Just lines, not as natural as the actual as the real thing. This is the real deal. This is the, the Vetmont. Here we go. $1,340. You're paying for three pairs of jeans uh, plus a lot more. And the next one, 79. Hmm. I mean, $79 is not a bad price for this jean. Yes, it's not the original, but it pays homage to the original and the price, you can't beat that. Okay, so with all of that in mind, what do you think about your jean? Let's be honest, it's not the Vetma jeans. It's not. It's not the original. Yeah. And so I know, okay, it's definitely not gonna be priced in this family, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's very sturdy sure. and it's weighty and the weight really feels more here than it does here. When I look at the details and stuff like that, yes, again, not the vet mom because I don't feel like I'm wearing three pairs of jeans. Sure. I feel like it's one pair of jeans, but I do feel like they took this up a notch. As you can see, like here, it's just like dyed. It's not PC, yep. but that could just be an evolution of what this is. So I'm actually fair. quite excited to You've rip this stumps. thing okay. off and, yeah. and see where I land. All right, let's big reveal. See. Wow. Okay, all right, so I wasn't too far off with my predictions. No. I do feel like we did fall, maybe not in the middle, but we definitely, I knew I wasn't there. Yep. I knew I was a little higher than there. Sure. So I'm very happy. I think you got it right. <laughs> I think it has the weight. Uh -huh. You can see the inspiration. Yeah. They did it in a new way. Good job. After looking at all these jeans, there are pros and cons to each of them. Whether you like heavy denim, unique design details, or simply a price that fits your budget, the most important thing is to pick a pair that's right for you. You passed with flying colors. <laughs>